Hello everyone. This video is going to talk about how to fix WD750 gigabytes 3.5 inch hard drive by swapping the PCB board. Hello everyone. This is a tutorial of how to swap the hard drive PCB board. Locate the model number of the hard drive. Locate the board number of the hard drive PCB board. Go to www.hdd-parts.com. Search for the correct donor board. The correct donor board is found. Why do we have to do the PCB board from a transfer? Because for this model hard drive, one PCB board includes two parts, hardware and firmware. The PCB board firmware includes hard drive's unique configuration data. The hard drive needs this unique configuration data to work. So we have to transfer this unique configuration data from the original board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. Regarding the hard drive PCB board firmware transfer, we have three things to mention. First, PCB board firmware transfer is different from the hard drive firmware upgrade. The PCB board firmware transfer is to transfer the PCB board firmware from one board to another board. The hard drive firmware upgrade is to upgrade the hard drive's own firmware. It nothing to do with another hard drive or another PCB board. Second, we can do the PCB board firmware transfer from the physically damaged PCB board, like a burned, watered, or other kind of damage. Our PCB board firmware transfer success rate is more than 95%. Third, we do the PCB board firmware transfer for our clients for free. This picture illustrated how to do firmware transfer. On the left hand side is a bad controller board. On the right hand side is a good controller board. Controller board firmware transfer means we transfer the data from the memory chip on the bad board to the memory chip on the good donor board. Torx 8 screwdriver is needed to work on this model hard drive PCB board. In the item description part, you can find a firmware transfer form. Please fill this form, print it, and ship together with the board. This picture shows how the clients ship their PCB board to us to do firmware transfer. This picture shows how we ship the donor board to our clients. This picture illustrated the procedure of fixing a hard drive PCB board. First, the clients sent in their PCB board. Two, we fix the PCB board. Three, we ship back the PCB board to the clients. We receive many questions regarding the hard drive PCB board firmware, also called hard drive PCB board bias, and the hard drive PCB board compatibility. So let's talk a little bit more about this in general. Some PCB board BIOS are in the independent memory chip like the first picture shows. Some PCB board's BIOS are integrated into the main IC, like the second picture shows. Most of the modern hard drive PCB boards 
need to do the BIOS transfer before swapping the PCB board. Even the donor boards are identical with the original boards in hardware, we have to transfer the BIOS from the original board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. The third picture shows some of these PCB boards. But there are some hard drive PCB boards do not need the BIOS transfer. As long as the donor boards are identical with the original boards, you can swap the boards directly. The fourth picture shows some of these kind of boards. If you have any questions, such as how to find a donor board, if your board need to do the BIOS transfer, where is the BIOS of your PCB board? How to swap your PCB board? Please go to www.hdd-parts.com to check it out, or you may take pictures of your hard drive and the PCB board and email to us. We will give you the correct answer. Thank you so much for taking your precious time to watch my video. Any comments are really appreciated. If this video is a little bit of help, could you please click on like to support me? Thank you again. Bye.